Good morning and welcome to the Daily Devotion at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Trevor Flanick. Our devotion for today comes from the Gospel lesson for the 22nd Sunday after Trinity. It comes from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. And Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold, with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. And his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused, and went out and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me, and should not you have, for, and should not you have mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? Are we there yet? If you've heard these words, maybe you've even spoken them to yourself, you've probably been on a car ride with little kids, always asking, are we there yet? As humans, we want to know what the limit is. We want to know when the ending point is. Even little toddlers will crawl around the boundary of their play yard to determine where the limit is, how far can they go, and where the stopping point is. That's exactly what Peter is doing to Jesus. He's asking him, what is the limit of forgiveness? Am I there yet? Now, Peter's not trying to avoid forgiveness. He's not trying to not forgive, but rather he's trying to obey God's law. He's trying to understand the requirement of forgiveness that God has for us. He wants to forgive when his brother trespasses against him, but at the same time, in his human nature, he wants to know when he can stop. So Jesus responds to him. He says, I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. So there we have our answer. Number 78, we no longer have to forgive. That's what Jesus said, right? Is that what he really means? No, it's not. Numbers are kind of funny in the Bible. There's often more than what initially meets the eye when we read certain numbers. The number seven is a divine number, so it's referring to God. Now, when Peter asks seven times, he's actually asking far more than what the requirement was of that day. You see, the custom was in those times that you could forgive your brother three times, but then the fourth time you were not required to forgive him. So Peter is actually raising the standard to twice what is the practice of the day. But what does Jesus respond? Jesus instead tells him, not seven times, but 77 times. Or in some translations, 70 times seven. He's not saying that at number 78, you can now stop forgiving, but rather he is saying, you forgive as God has forgiven you. Remember, the number seven is a divine number. So really the standard is in the same way that you have been forgiven by God, that is how you ought to forgive your brother. <clears throat> now, to drive this point home, Jesus tells the parable of the unforgiving servant. 
You have one servant who owes the master an exorbitant amount of money. And then this other servant who owes that same servant a much smaller amount of money. For context, it'd be like the servant owing the master $600 million, while the other servant owed him average wages of uh, three months. So maybe 100 days of wages. And what does that servant do? Does he forgive his fellow servant who owes him such a minuscule amount of money for how much he owed the master? No, he refuses to forgive him, and he throws him in jail. And so that servant then is punished by the master. He's punished by the king. And what does Jesus tell us? He says, for this lack of mercy, so also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from the heart. You and I have been forgiven so much. We've been forgiven all of our sins for our entire lives, our sins against others, our sins against ourselves, and our sins against God. That's a huge amount of sin. It's a huge debt that we have been forgiven. And those sins have been separated from us as far as the East is from the West. So what this parable reminds us is, who are we to withhold forgiveness from our brother? No one on earth, no person could sin against us the amount that we would have a debt even comparable to the debt that we owe God, that debt of forgiveness, the debt that Jesus Christ paid on the cross for our sake. And when we withhold that forgiveness from others, we are binding ourselves to our own sins. In refusing to forgive, not only are we leaving that brother or sister, that neighbor, with that burden, but we are chaining ourselves to our own sins again. By withholding forgiveness, we are relinquishing the forgiveness that God has given us. It's almost as if we don't trust God to forgive us, and therefore we don't trust to forgive others. But thanks be to God, because he does forgive us. Because of Jesus, he does forgive us all of our sins. And not only that, but he strengthens and sanctifies us so that we might forgive our neighbor as well. We forgive them seven times, 77 times, 7,000 times. We forgive as God has forgiven us. Because we haven't given much so we ought to forgive others in the same way. Thanks be to God for the forgiveness won for us through Jesus Christ, that not only may we forgive others, but that because of his blood shed on the cross, all of our many, many sins, all of our debts are covered over by that blood. In the name of Jesus, amen.